Good morning, all of you. So, as we know that uh, presently we are dealing sexual reproduction in flowering plants. So, in last class we discussed the sexual reproduction, how it will take place, uh, and what are the steps following in the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. So. If you want to study the sexual reproduction in flowering plants, so first of all, we should remember uh, two kinds of sex organs. One is uh, male sex organs, and another one is uh, female sex organs in the flowers. So in male, uh, in, in flowers, the male sex organ, which we used to call it as, what we used to call it, guys? It is called as stamen, and it is only we used to call it as, which will make the male gametes, and it is present in where, guys? It is present in the. Please respond. It is pollen present. Grains. It is present in pollen grains. So same way, if it comes to the female reproductive system in the flowers, if we we'll take that is what we used to call it as carpel. Car and these carpel will make female gametes or female sex cells. And these female gametes are present in where ovules. Now, this is what we have been studying. So now these female gravets present in the ovules and these ovules only also we can call it as eggs, we can say simply. So now these uh, stem, these male gametes, male sex organs will travel carried out towards the ovules. Inside these ovules only, the fertilization will take place and within uh, they will turn into seeds. That is what we have been studied the sexual reproduction in plants. Is it yes, guys? What is the steps will take carried out in the plants? So once the seeds will produce, these will seeds will turn into new plants on germination under suitable conditions like water, temperature, air, and light, etc. etc. So now in our today's class, we'll continue from here. We will describe the various parts of the flower, including the sexual reproductive, uh, reproductive organs. And later we will discuss how this sexual reproduction will take place in the plants. So as we know the steps, so male, male reproductive system will produce the male, male gametes and these male gametes will be carried out towards to the female gametes. And later the fertilization will take place in ovules. So that is what they will modify into seeds. But now we'll see what is the other parts. As we know, who is the sex organs in the plants, guys? Who is the sex organs in the plants? Flowers, yes or no? Most of the most of the plants, the sex sex organs is flowers only. So most female and uh, male male organs both are present in same flowers. Some plants that plants we used to call it as bisexual plants, and some plants having male and female flowers different. So now, if it comes to here, as we know, these flowers are the major importance in uh, reproductive systems of uh, flowering plants. So now let us see what is the main parts of these flowers and uh, how, what is the shape of them and what is the importance of them, that is all we'll discuss now. So if we'll take here the main parts of the flower, so please all of you keep reading. And this structure also you have to study here. The main parts of the, main parts of a flower. So if we'll take the main parts of a flower, the first and for most important part, which is uh, we used to see, if you'll take some flower in your hand, if you'll take anything, a uh, rose, RLS, uh, uh, hibiscus, RLS, any kind of a turnip plant, or whatever it is, if you'll take a flower of it, then you can see the first one, which we can separate out from the plant. That is what a solid, little bit a solid, like a stick thing is present at the bottom, a greenish one. That is what we used to call it as, receptacles receptacle this is what the first and for most important part and later i will explain you what is that and what is important so the first one is receptacle and second one is called as sepals next one is petals and next one is stamen and last one is carpel so these are the main and most important parts of the flower of a, any plant. So any plant, if you take the flowers of any plant, it is having receptacles, sepals, petals, st stamen, and carpal. So now let us discuss one by one 
what is this receptacle sepals petals and stamen and carp shall we start guys have you noted down so how many important parts we have totally five important parts and the important parts generally the stamen and the carpel again it is having sub sub parts the parts we will study while you are studying the a particular part like what is stamen and what is carpel so now observe very carefully with the help of one picture i will show this picture is not new it is already there in our book also the same picture you have to sometimes it is come for an exam also so that exam you people need to draw with the picture so be careful so now observe very carefully if you take any kind of flower a bottom which we can separate out from the plant have you noticed it guys which will separate out from the plant that is what we can say this part alone a greenish part suppose if you will cut the rose from the plant you may you might be see we used to get that at the bottom we will like a stick a stick kind of thing will come this is what we used to call it as receptacle do you understand the base of a flower we can say this is what you understand everybody so the base of a flower to which all the parts of the flower is carried you can see here the sepals are sticking to this ovaries are like all the sepals and uh, everything a uh, male and female reproduction everything is attached to this this is what we can say basement understand so the basement of a flower we can say so the base of a flower base of a flower to which all the parts of the flower are attached that is only we is to called as receptacle do you understand everyone so the base of a flower to which what it is to which all the parts of the all the other parts all the parts of the flower is attached that is what we is to called as receptacle so sometimes they will ask you exam draw the structure of a flower and explain their uh, parts so by that time you have to draw so what is receptacle guys everybody so receptacle means it is the base of a flower to which all the other remaining parts of a flower are attached to it that is what we used to call it as receptacle so now receptacle after you are seeing like hand like structures you can see even rose and male familiar with rose or anything it will be having four things have you noticed it not one four will be there all four corners four will be there have you seen please respond this is what we used to call it as what we used to call a green color leaf like parts it is looks like a leaf that is what we can say it is looks like a leaf so that is what we used to call it as sepals so a green leaf parts which is outermost circle of a flower are called as sepals so these all the sepals taken together if we'll take usually any flower if we'll see how many sepals will be there usually four sepals is to come so this all the four sepals together we is to called as calyx please remember so individually we can call them as sepal if all four sepals which is attached to this re receptacle like next step of this uh, plant flowering so the basement is called as receptacle next a green leaf like parts in the outermost circle of a flower this is what outermost circle outside this uh, receptacle so this is only called as sepals and this sepals usually four it will be there for any kind of flower you can see so that is what all the sepals together we is to called as calyx c a l y x calyx so now what is the main function of this calyx can anybody say what is the main function here arvin what is the main function of uh, this uh, sepals please any one of you can say what is the main function of sepals bhumiga please actually it is the it is the protect the, protect the flower in the initial stage when it is in the form of bud that is the major important have you seen the rose flower buds first of all it will grow into the green color only and we can will never see the red color or anything it will be inside the sepals have you seen it please respond it will be inside the sepals and the rose it they will be completely cover it slowly the bird will start bursting and so that the sepals will come outside have you seen guys at least say yes or no that is what so what is the main importance of this calyx or we can say sepals means they will protect the flower understand at the initial stages 
when it is in the form of bird. That is what the importance of thalix. Everybody, please note it down. So that is even I will show you. So now, if you want, we will uh, we'll go to the. You can see in the form of birds. I will show you. Just a minute. Yeah, you can uh, tell if if you'll go to here and I will show you what is the importance of uh, this. You can see. So if you we'll take birds. Oh, it is coming uh, ear birds. So okay. Yeah. So have you seen guys? This one you can see, for example. So have you seen it is here? Outside it is completely covered. Please respond. Then only it is uh, flower is coming outside. So this is what we used to say. The importance of this collex or sepals. At the initial stage when the flower in this picture you can see. Rose flower it is. So here you can see if it is taken in the form of bird. These sepals are completely covered and it is giving protection to that. That is the importance of sepals or we can say together is a sepals we used to call it as collex. So for any flower if you take. Basically this one is to come four or five sepals is to come. So that is why uh, it's like it will vary based upon the flower. So that is the importance of the uh, sepals or colleagues is what? It will protect the flowers in the initial stages when it is in the form of bird. That is what you have to remember. Are you understand? Nobody is speaking us. So, so now the second important part of the flower. So what is the first important part? The first important part is receptacle and the second one is called as sepals. Now, if you go sepals after then a beautiful part of the flower you are seeing is here also it is a pink color it is there so the beautiful part only we used to call it as what guys a beautiful part it looks colorful we can say so the colorful part of a plant a flower we, which we used to see in our surroundings that is what we used to call it as what we used to call it? petals we can say petals. So rose petals or any petals we can see so these colorful part you might be see here these colorful part only we used to call it as what guys it is used to known as petals this is the third important part of a plant flower that is what we used to call it as petals so these petals like inside the sepals understand so they will starting see outside outer circle of a flower is called as sepals now inside this we can see it is uh, surrounding by it Inside we used to get a sepals and these sorry petals. These petals are lies inside the sepals. So this all these petals you can take individually. Suppose you can see rose flower, you can separate the petals individually. So now if you take all these petals together, all these petals together, we used to call with uh, some name. Can anybody say what is this? So petals together, we used to call with something. Anyone, please. Padma Varsini, Elmati, together, these petals together we used to call with one name. Suppose the sepals together, what we used to call? Anybody, Nitish? Sepals together, what we used to call? We used to call it as colix. Yes or no? So same way, these petals together we used to call it as, remember, Corolla, C O L O C O R O L L A, not Corona, it is a Corolla. Understand? So Corolla, so now these petals are Together, if you'll make it, that is what we used to call it as corella. So now, what is the function of this corella? Can anybody say, guys? What is the function of this corella? The function of this corella, what is the use? They are, they are usually what? Colorful in nature, beautiful or colorful in nature. So what is happening? They will attract the insects. Do you understand, everybody? They will attract the insects for what purpose guys insects for the first stage of reproductive uh, reproductive system in flowers that is what we used to call it as pollination so the next after few minutes we will study what is the uh, first stage actually this uh, reproduction in plant flowering plants will take place in two two stages in that the first stage is called as pollination so to carry out the pollination they need help of some kind of mosquitoes, flies, and etc. etc. So to attract, to attract these insects for pollination, these 
corolla will be useful and also they will protect the reproductive organs like you might be seen here the reproductive organs are yellow color ones this is what we used to call it as male reproductive sims that is what we can say stamen and as well as middle you are seeing a uh, one kind of structure have you seen this middle structure please respond everyone so this middle kind of uh, this middle structure which we used to call it as what female reproductive organ of a plant so to protect this reproductive plant reproductive organs which are at the center of a flower these corolla or else the petals are helpful so that is what the two functions of carpel uh, sorry petals one is to attract the insects for carried out the pollination and as well as to protect the reproductive organs which are present at the center of the flower that is what the importance do you understand what i am saying guys please respond yes so these are the yes, three things three parts which we used to study basically regarding the flower so now inside you might be see uh you can see just uh, like a ring like structures at here a top yellow color one if you are noticing this is what we used to call it as female uh, sorry male reproductive system and this male reproductive system is only what we used to call it, guys this is called as stamen we can say yes or no stamen we can say the complete one this full part we used to call it as stamen so also remember most of the flowers the female reproductive system called as carpel is uh, surrounded by many many stamens understand everyone so stamens in any most of the flowers one uh, there is no single female reproductive system and single male reproductive system single female reproductive system is present but it is covered by many male reproductive systems that is what we can say the male reproductive system is called as stamen and the female reproductive system used to called as what guys what we used to call it is only called as carpel so this full part we used to called as carpel so now it will be in detail what is this male reproductive system that is all we will study now so as we know male reproductive system will produce what guys what will produce it will produce male gametes and this male gametes are present in where can anybody say where is the male gametes are present they will present in, yes nobody pollen grains they will they will present in the pollen grains yes or no so now let us go to that these are the first three parts so anybody is having any doubt you can ask me so what is the importance of petals anybody importance of petals i call the option this what is the importance of petals so they attract insects for pollination they attract insects for pollination, uh, attract uh, insects for pollination and pollination they and as well as got the reproductive parts reproductive organs which are present at center of the flower so now this is what the three things so first three things anybody is having any doubt you can ask me so this is what now coming to the third fourth one the important part of a plant that is what the male reproductive system that is what we used to call it as stem so as we know these are like a stacks or else we can looks like they are simple like a sticks understand with the swollen tops just inside the rings of a petals of a flower they are only we used to call it as stem so now these stem and if you notice it i will show you the bisection part of a stem and which you people can understand more uh, nicely of this male reproductive system that is what this is so this is only called as male reproductive system that is what we can say structure of a stamen are you understanding guys so if we'll go back to the previous picture so this yellow color one which is attached to this female reproductive system you can see this is what i am taking i am bisecting it single one and i am zooming it this is what we used to say structure of a stamen what we used to call guys structure of a stamen now you can see here inside we are seeing like a bird like thing have you noticed it a bird i am seeing at the top so this bird if i cut it bisect it then inside if you will see inside as i said they will produce the male reproductive organs understand male reproductive organs are a plant so this stamen it will produce male reproductive organs inside where guys it is produced in pollen grains as yes or no so that is only we used to call it as pollen sacs where the pollen where the pollen grains are present that is what we used to call it as 
pollen sacs. That is we have to remember. So what is what is stamen scars? We used to call it as a little stacks with with a swollen tops. You can see which which will be looks like a, uh, eating something. Understand? Swollen tops just inside the rings of a petals. Understanding inside the ring of a petals of a flower, that is what we used to call it as stamen. So now these stamen, if you take this upper part, which is looks like a swallow on top, that is what we used to call it as anthers. What we used to call it? everybody? Anthers, we can say. So now on the stick-like thing, which is attached to the female reproductive system, that is what we used to call it as filament. So this both together is only we used to call it as stamen. That is what you need to remember. So here, if you we'll take here, the stacks of a stamen, the stacks which are stick, look like a stick. This is what we used to call it as. What is this called as, guys? The stacks of a stamen. And the stacks of a stamen is only called as filament. And the swallow on top, you can take. So what is this swallow on top called as? It is looks like eating. It is going to eat a swallow or something. It is what a swallow, swallow on top of a stamen. That is what we used to call it as anther. We can say so. The anther of a stamen, which will make the pollen grains. If you we'll bisect it inside, you can see we used to having pollen sacs. So inside these pollen sacs only, they will produce what guys? What it will produce? A male reproductive organs, which we used to call it as pollen grains understand so now these pollen grains actually they will store them usually whatever it is producing the anthrophistamine which makes the pollen grains and they will store inside this pollen sacs all. so later these pollen grains appears to be usually what is the color of this one you can see the previous picture what is the color of this uh, pollen grains guys now usually these anthers what is the color of this one please respond Color. Yellow. Yes, yellow color that is very important so these pollen grains appears to be yellow understand and a powder like substance to us so these pollen grains contains usually what it contains this anther only the swollen part what it contains it contains male gametes that is what we used to call it as male sex cells so this anther inside the yellow color substance like a powder which is appears to us this is only we used to call it as male sex cells. So this is only we can say male gametes. So the male gametes of a plants are made in where guys? So they will ask you in question where the male gametes are made in? In flowers? It is made in where? They are made in anthers of a male reproductive system. That is what we used to call it as pollen sacs. So inside this anthers only, the pollen, the pollen grains will produce. That is what we used to call it as stamens fully. The stamens and the stack like structure is called as filament. Now, what is the count of this uh, stamens guys in a flower? Is it only single one or two or three? Please respond. So if flower to flower, the number of stamens will vary or it is only single one. Please anybody. So the number of stamens, understanding, in flower usually will varies. So we're having many, understand, it has a number of stamens in it. Here, if you, this flower, if you'll see, how many, how many stamens are there, guys, in this flower? Five, sir. Five stamens are there. So like that, flower to flower, it is not a single stamen is present. Many multiples of stamens are present in it. This is what we used to call it as. That's what is the male reproductive system in flower and what is the inner parts of it? Have you clearly understood or not? Please respond. And you can draw the structure also. So male reproductive system stamen we used to call it as it is a two parts that is anther. A swollen top is called as anther and the bottom part we used to call it as a filament which is attached to the female reproductive system. So now this together is called as well uh, stamen and this anther if you'll see inside it is having a pollen sacs where the, where the pollen grains are produced. This pollen grains only we used to call it as a yellow powder like substances that is what we can say uh, male sex cells or male gametes we can say. This is all about the stamen. Any doubt guys please respond. Are you clear? Call to the absentees and make them join here. Clear everybody? Nitish, Pranav, Sutir? Yes, please. Respond me. 
write it any doubt here yeah? nobody will answer then what is the use so okay. so now next to go to the second the uh, the second type of reproductive system of a flower that is what it is male gametes is over male male reproductive system is over next what is that guys female reproductive system that is what we used to call it as what is that called as female reproductive system we used to call it as female no reproductive system is only called as what is that carpel understand so this is what carpel female reproductive system so if we'll see in the center of a flower if we'll come back to the first first one so the center of a flower if we'll see of it is looks like a some kind of a flask if we'll go to the janapriya or else any kind of demat and all water bottles also similar to this shape have you seen it i have i have noticed in uh, demat the water bottles are also similar to like this yes that is what that is why we can say it is similar to the flask say have you seen guys this is what we used to call it as clear everybody so this is only we used to call it as carpel which is present in where what is the location of the carpel kardikeyan what is the location of the carpel the carpel is present at the center of the flower do you understand everyone it is present at the center of the flower and this which is looks like if flask shaped flask shaped one and this is only this carpel full one it is only called as carpel and this carpel is the female reproductive organ of the plant so now this carpel basically it is having a main uh, mainly it is having three parts the three parts only you can notice it here the upper part is only called as what we used to call it guys that is only called as stigma and the tube like structure we used to called as style and down here a circle like a spherical like structure that is what we used to called as ovary so this together together is only we used to called as carpel so carpel is made up of three parts one is stigma next one is style and next one is what guys it is ovary so now if you take here the top part of a plant the top part uh, the top part of a car carpel is only called as stigma we can say the top most this is this upper zone is only called as stigma so now what is the use of this stigma anybody can say arvind varshini what is the use of this stigma yeah, you already studied garat at least to open the mouth what is the use of this stigma so this stigma will receive the pollen grains from the anther of a stamen during the pollination so the use of this stigma is to what guys to receive male reproductive uh, gametes that is what to receive male gametes during which reaction guys during pollination do you understand during pollination it will receive the male gametes that is what the importance of stigma in female reproductive system so now this stigma is sticky so that the pollen grains can stick to it it is it will be it will be looks like a gum understanding it is having some sticky gum like structure gum like substance is present in this so that from the from the uh stamen if when the pollen grains are coming they will come and they will be stick to this or attracted by this stigma then only the uh, reprodu reproduction will be carried out so this is what we used to call as stigma so stigma is the upper part of the carpel which is receiving the pollen grains from the anther of a stem that is the importance of the stigma during pollination now this stigma is attached to the a stick understand down the middle part it is attached to a some tube like structure which is connecting ovary and the stigma that is what we used to call it as style so now this is a style is a, a tube we can say it is looks like a tube only correct guys it is looks like a tube like structure that is what we can say a style is a tube which will connects what which will connects stigma and ovary that is what we used to call as style so now what is the importance of this style means remember the swollen part if you'll notice it here where the re reproduction will takes place that is what the fertilization will takes place this part is only we used to called as 
go over it. So here, once the pollen grains will receive by the stigma, then these pollen grains will be carried out from stigma to the ovary with the help of style. That is what the importance of this style. Next, the swallowed part of the bottom part of the ovary, if you'll notice it, that is what we used to call the bottom part of a carpel. This is this full part we used to call it as ovary. And this ovary makes what? Inside you can see. So inside already the female reproductive part is present. What is this called as guys? The egg, you can see. This is what we can say egg. Our female gamete is present. And this full white color one, this is only we used to call it as ovule. So the male reproductive organs, they will reach us to this through the help of stigma and as well as style. And here the pollination, uh, this uh, fertilization will take place. So the ovules which they contain the female gametes, they will be react with the, they will fertile with the, what it is? They'll fertile with the male gametes and their fertilization will take place. And you, we know that they will converting into what? Slowly this egg will be converting into what it is, seeds, modified seeds it will be making. So these female gametes of a plant, you can see they are present inside. They, are, they will made in the ovary of a carpel. And you remember these female organs, again we can say basically two things. One is carpel, another one is pistil we can say. So that I will show you here. So this is what we used to call it as carpel we can say. So this female organ, a female reproductive system also we can call it as carpel or we can say pistil, P-I-S-T-I-L, please remember. So this is what we used to call it as. So here you have to remember always a single female reproductive system, it is covered by multiples of male reproductive systems. That in most every flower, a single female reproductive system is covered with the many of male reproductive systems. That is what I will show you even. Turn, uh, tulip, How, uh, you people know tulip, tulip uh, flower? Have you seen the tulip flower? So if you see the tulip flower, many of, many of uh, brown kind, brown color stamens are covered by a single carpel, but I will show you the picture now. So this is what we can say, a female reproductive system. What, we, what is the name of the female reproductive system, guys? His name is? Carpel, or we can say pistil. So this carpel or pistil, it is mainly having how many parts? Three parts. One is stigma, next one is style, next one is ovary. So stigma, it is sticky like substance which will attract the pollen grains from the anther. And next one, this style will, it is the middle part which will connect the stigma on the ovary. And once the pollen grains will receive by the stigma, it will be carried towards to the ovule where the female gamete is present inside. That is what we used to call it as egg. So each ovule contains how many eggs, guys? How many eggs? Anther contains so many pollen grains, but each female contains how many eggs, guys? only one female gamete of the plant, understand? So at every time it can produce, every flower is having only one female gamete of the plant. So these female gamete only we can say, female sex cell, which is present inside the ovule, so that pollen grains will reach us to this egg, so that the fertilization will take place. They will fertile with this egg, so that they will be modified into this ovum or egg, it will be modified into seeds. That is what the fertilization process will be carried out in the plants of a flowers. So this is all about the, the main parts of a flower. So main parts of the flowers are, we're having totally how many? Five. So what is the first one? The first one is receptacle. Second one is what? Sepals. And the third one is petals. Third one, fourth one is stem and, and the fifth one is carpel. So here you can see some flowers which contains only one sex organ, either stem and or carpels, they are called as unisexual flowers. What we used to call guys? They are called as unisexual flowers. So you can write it definition also. So how many of you understand clearly all the parts of a flowers? Any doubt guys? Arun Gardigayan, Kevin? Yes, please respond. Yeah. Yes, so, sir. 
and also remember what is another name of carpel another name of carpel we used to call as pistil pistil pistil, pistil we used to say so stamen we are having two parts what is the main parts of a stamen one is anther another one is what filament you understand and pistil or carpel we are having a three main parts so what is that guys one is stigma another one is thyle 